At Coolsville Tattoo, we're proud to be part of many incredible journeys, but few are as special as Cynthia's. For over a decade, she's been the warm, welcoming face at our counter, supporting clients and artists alike with dedication and heart. Now, after years of being immersed in the art, Cynthia is following her dream, making the transition from the counter to the tattoo chair. This isn't just a career move, it's a passion she's nurtured, and we're honored to share this next chapter with her. Join us in celebrating Cynthia's journey into tattooing. What up? What up? How are you? Good. What's going on? Doing better. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You got anything new happening in your world? Yeah. I'm gonna start tattooing. Hell soon, yeah. soon. Soon, soon. So you're practicing, yeah. You're apprenticing right apprenticing now. Apprenticing right now, yeah. Yeah, how long do you think that apprenticeship's gonna roll? I think a couple months. I've been doing it for about three months now, so. In case they haven't watched your first episode that mm -hmm. you did with us, they don't know that you've been with the company for over 10 years. Over 10 years, yes. So what made you make that transition from front counter to tattooing? I was always curious about it, you know? And then I know um, Mari, you know, she had always asked me, oh, when did you start tattooing? For me, it was just like a big thing, you know? It's like a huge thing. And and I have the artists too, like ask me, oh, why, why didn't you tattoo? When are you gonna start tattooing? And I always, honestly, I wouldn't even know what to say like you yeah. know, i didn't have an excuse or anything that i could right. tell you oh this is why like no right i would just be like, oh i don't know and then mari uh pretty much just wasn't really asking she said oh i got your machine i bought it for you you come in tuesday you're gonna start Stop. so i was like okay you know and then i i did you know she even i called me the day before I, so are you coming i was like yes i am you know i Plan it out, and then I came and I just started. Like she bought your machine. Yeah, she bought my first machine. Yeah. How she did. cool is that? <laughs> yeah, it's really it's. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. You know, I've been. She knows me. You know, for like I said, more than ten years. And you know, and I'm here, and I'm given this opportunity. So, mine as well take it. You know. Yeah, and that's then, priceless. How amazing is it though that you know Mari and Coolsville mm -hmm. are not only like supporting the community, doing mm -hmm. you know community relief and fundraisers, but they're helping their own. They're yes, helping within they the family, within the company. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. That's really cool, yeah. So do you think that, again, all the time that you spent behind the front counter has also helped prep mm -hmm. for your tattoo journey? Yeah, it has. And then I, I know a lot about like the prices too. Like I'm one, maybe the only counter that it's allowed to price the tattoos. Uh, so I, I can price them and people that I work with are okay with it too. Like they know that I can get prices. I can price any tattoo that, you know, and they usually the counter people, they have to go and ask the artist, okay, what, what, what are you price you want again? I know, I price, I know how to, you know, that's a good, I've been here for so long. Right, know, that's like a good I, little advantage yeah, yeah, that so. you have, you know. And I can see them too, like Mari say, you already know, like you just gotta learn how to do the tattoos, you know, you've been with them, you know how they wrap everything, you know how they clean, you know. I mean, it's a little bit of, you know, I, there's still so many things that you need to learn, but it's like, it's not something completely, completely new for me to just, oh, I don't know how to do this, you know, like right. I, I see it every day, you know, all day. I always stand up and watch them. I, you know, I always do, I always stand up and I see, you know. So when you started, would you say that like, you were doubtful that you would be able to do it? At first I did. I, at first I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know, like, I, I was questioning, like, m you know, myself. Even though I'm here and I'm always here and then it might be easier for somebody to say, hey, you know, you're there every day, you work, and you've seen it, and then, yeah, just grab it. No, it's, it, it's different. It takes a long time. When you had those doubts, do you think that, like, the other artists here helped you get over that? Like, they encouraged you and pushed you? Well, yeah, and then I was still doubting about myself until you posted a video. Okay, yeah, because we are proud because of you. I, I love that. Nobody knew. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't even told my brothers, my dad, you know, because I always tell them everything. It was just like, 
you know, that day you came, you took a video, you took a picture, and then when you left, and I guess when you put it on, then I started getting the messages, because I haven't even opened the Instagram. Yeah, it was just like messages, and, and oh, congratulations, and the calls, and I'm like, well, what is everybody talking about, right? And then I did have a lot of support from the artists, too. I love it. Like, oh, you know, it's about time. Like, good job, congratulations, you're doing it, finally. Like, you know, yeah. everybody was, everybody seemed really excited, but honestly, I didn't really expect it. I have a lot of people saying oh I'm ready I can you can apprentice me you know you can do a tattoo on me you can practice on me and it's you know after that and I seen all the support and I'm like well you know like it, it's it felt good to know that people care and they're willing to support me hey guys thank you so much for watching I'll keep you updated and then I'll let you know when I'm ready for you to come see me